No amount of money is ever worth a night of you not sleeping. The Philippine economy will recover. It will. But it may not happen this year. We buy this because it's gonna go to the moon. We buy this because it's cheap right now and it's gonna become this price later on. So how do you have conviction? in times of correction that could give you cash flow, not just now, but something that you can bank on repeatedly, especially if you are investing for a stretch period of time. Hi everyone, so I'm about to begin my talk for ICON 2021, but I'm making this video right before it, and I just wanna share uh, bits and pieces also of what I wanted to share during the conference. And the whole goal and the whole narrative of why I create videos like this is really, I just want to give you guys as much information as possible so that you can make the right decisions on your money. So the whole premise and the whole talk of what I talked about in ICON was what I did during the pandemic because I'm sure all of you that in 2019, when it ended, especially for those of you who have been crushing it, for those who have been doing well, for those who have been earning, you were looking forward for 2020 to be a year where you would have earned more. It would have been a year of growth. And true enough for me, ganun yung nangyari. First two months of 2020, it was amazing. Then suddenly, March, I felt that there was like a rug pull. That the rug was pulled beneath me and all of my plans, all of the things that I wanted to do for 2020, shifted and that's where the whole pivoting shifting and innovating at least from my part also happened i realized it eh, that if i do not shift if i do not pivot that if i just wait for things to get better then nothing's gonna happen to me and true enough no march 2020 that's when we saw all of the markets drop not just the philippine markets we've also seen the u.s markets we've also seen the crypto markets massively drop last year while that was happening, the first thing that I looked at and the first thing that I did was I tried to look at what my cash level was because it's so important for me above everything else is to have my cash buffer ready, ready to go. I was already thinking that what if wala talagang pumasok? I get zero. What happened at that time is in the midst of the lockdowns or at the height of the lockdowns when they started locking down Metro Manila and the whole Philippines, March 2020, the stock market was closed for two days. Clearing houses, settlement houses, meaning anything connected to my bonds were also closed. At that time, I was thinking, what if tumagal to? What if we don't open for a while? What's gonna happen to the passive income that I wanted to get from my bonds or from my preferred shares or everything else that gave me passive sources of income. I went through first my cash position and I submit this to all of you that it's so important that you spend a lot of time building that cash buffer. I'm not even talking about an emergency fund. I'm not even talking about your cash for other purposes. I'm talking about cash purely for the purpose of papatulugin nyo lang. Purely for the purpose of if walang pumasok, you will be able still to sleep well at night. And I know that's a bit controversial because a lot of people who are into cryptocurrency currencies don't want to leave their money in fiat because it's really true that fiat loses its value over time or a lot of people who are heavily into investments also don't want to leave their money purely in cash because tulog sayang and i believe those arguments are amazing and true what's wrong in leaving your money in cash is if majority is there if you don't have positions or assets in other places that are working hard for you. That's why it's very true that if you don't have cryptocurrencies, you don't have stocks and everything is in cash, talo ka talaga. But if you have those set up already and you have that cash buffer, then suddenly it becomes strong. Then suddenly that cash buffer is something that could allow you to sleep sound at night. Please remember this. This is my rule of thumb in investing. No amount of money is ever worth a night of you not sleeping. That goes also with how I allocate my funds. I will only allocate an amount that I'm willing to lose. Then as it started to progress, no, nakita ko na first month into the lockdown, I don't think I'm gonna dip into that cash buffer. My cash flow I think is relatively okay. And that gave me a notion already in the midst of the pandemic to look for opportunities. I'll say this over and over, maximum uncertainty maximum upside. When everything is at its bleakest, that's when your possibility to position low and have a greater upside 
will be massively better as well. What I mentioned in Icon 2021 was it's still spread out on the things that I really love. Philippine stocks, global stocks, and the crypto market. Even if I'm investing in the crypto market, I've still been putting money in global stocks. I've still been putting money in Philippine stocks. It's just that based on what's happening in the Philippine markets right now, my strategy shifted on how I would do it. And what I shared there was basically, okay, if I invest in the Philippines, my goal and my narrative should be the Philippine economy will recover. It will. But it may not happen this year. I just want to accumulate. I just want to wait that even though it does not go up this year, I'm okay with it because I do know that a recovery will happen. Whatever I planted right now will reap benefits for me later. There are expectations that are not met and then they get frustrated. I hope my expectations are clear for Philippine markets is that whatever I put in today, I'm just willing to wait for it up until we start to see it reverse. Again, this is the investor side of me talking. Of course, the trader side, you can, I rely on charts for that. But as an investor, I'm willing to plant and I'm willing to wait. That being said also, aside from that, I distributed my investments at least for the Philippines from an investment portfolio perspective for stocks that would give me dividends and for stocks that I know are very, very good, very, very strong, very, very big, that their stock prices went down. Not because sobrang pangit ng negosyo nila, but mainly because there was just a pandemic. And after this pandemic, those companies will come out of the gates running. And also, I wanted to look at companies that are banking on the future. And if you've been watching my videos, I've been very, very consistent. I like companies that are highly connected to renewable energy. That's from a Philippine perspective. Now, for my global investing, same thing. Because if you look at the context for Philippine market, majority of the businesses there are traditional from the banks to the property development companies to the malls a lot of them are not really benefiting from what the shift that's going on right now and what I like for global stocks is it exposes me to technology and I've been investing heavily on stocks that are highly invested on where I think the world will go fintech stocks like Square like PayPal I really love Tesla primarily because it's an electric vehicle I really love Tesla because of its battery power technology. I really love Tesla because of AI. So there are certain facets of companies highly connected to technology that I like because I know that over the next few years, they will be part of it. Please check it out below. In the description below, there's a new app that allows you to buy US stocks for $1 only. So check it out. It's by invitation only. I've put the code below. Anyways, third is this. I've spent a lot of time also investing in cryptos and for sure if you've been watching my videos over the past few days it's been heavily crypto because it's a reflection also of what interests me it's a reflection also of what makes me excited it's a reflection also of what i'm studying more it's a reflection also of where i'm investing a lot of time and attention in us also and also capital as well and that's why i love it and the deeper that i have been going in the crypto space the more i've been falling in love with it the more that i'm seeing it as a technology and if you notice the videos i never talk about we buy this because it's gonna go to the moon i don't do that i don't also say that we buy this because it's cheap right now and it's gonna become this price later on that's not my style if you follow the videos that i've been doing i've always talked about the technology more i've always talked about what's the cryptocurrency space disrupting what is it changing what is it innovating what's evolving what is it disrupting and the more i know about it the more i realize and the more i see and the more that hmm this is something that's so revolutionary. This is something that will change the way we live our lives. This is something that we are, in my opinion, in the midst of what people in the 1700s and 1800s, when the Industrial Revolution came in, that's what we're experiencing right now in the cryptocurrency market. Meaning, it was a space that it was so early that people didn't actually believe it could take over so many things, that it could change so many things, that it was just a fad. And I think that's where we are today. And that has happened several times also in different shifts in technology. That happened when cars came out. People thought the internet was a fad. And right now, everything that we are using is based on the internet. And that's where I believe blockchain and the cryptocurrency market is. That it's so new, it's not yet understood. However, because it's not yet understood, there lies the opportunity because if everyone understands it, then your opportunity for you to earn 
is not as big anymore. When everyone understands it, then it becomes stable, which is not bad at all also. If you are a person that values stability, then by all means, wait for things to get better first. Wait until people accept it and that's when you come in. Nothing wrong with that. However, you lose the delta. You lose the ability to get a larger upside. I guess just to share, you know, this is something that's personal not to me. What I'm investing is success money. What I'm investing is also something that I got either from stocks, or other portions that it's not my first investment. It's not something that, okay, I'm starting from zero and putting everything in the crypto market. I've exercised proper risk management also in how I deal with my crypto investments. But I really do believe that it's a future. And that's why I've been diversifying still in this three. Philippine stocks, global stocks, and the crypto market. And I mentioned there in Icon that Bitcoin doesn't have a lot of utility, meaning hindi siya masyado nagagamit. But in my opinion, it's gold day. Eh. Gold doesn't do a lot of things, but because it's so relevant, so important, so valuable, it's like the OG, people will be coming into it. And we have to remember this, Bitcoin is the most secure network in the planet. Compared to other cryptocurrencies, it's so secure. And that's what makes, I think, proof of work work for it because of the protection that it provides. And no one owns it. I think that's its underlying advantage. It's so decentralized that no one owns it similar to the internet. Then I also talked about Ethereum, BNB, but I've I've had so many videos about that. You can just check it out in the channel. But that was the gist of my talk. And I guess I'm taking this time also for people who attended. I know I've been mentioning Icon 2021 for so many weeks already. But uh, this is something that we started in 2013 with the hopes that people attend concerts, which is good, which is entertaining also. There's nothing wrong with concerts. But if concerts can do it, how about people also attending things that will educate them, that will help them decide on what they're supposed to do with their money. And that's the whole crux and the whole heart of ICON. And I do hope you guys enjoyed it to the 260 plus thousand of you that are in this YouTube channel. I do hope also that uh, in this channel you get so much value and content. So in the links below also if you want to invest in the crypto markets, we have Binance. It's the largest crypto exchange in the world that will allow you to trade not just Bitcoin but different altcoins as well. Then, if you want to grab a copy of my books, we have it also below. It's available in all national bookstores but you can grab them also via Shopee. For those who want to learn more about trading the markets, when I say markets, not anymore just the Philippine stock market but also the global markets and also the crypto markets, we have our technical analysis course coming this July where we're going to talk about candlesticks, MACD, trend lines, parabolic stars, RSI, and so much more and how you can apply that to have proper risk management for your trades. So I hope that this is something that's insightful. I hope that this is something that was useful. And I hope that you learned a lot from all of this. This is Marvin Germo pushing you, encouraging you to invest, to spend the greatest years of your life, the prime years of your life to invest, the prime years of your life to do what you can so that you can put money into the ground and invest. So that's it for now. Marvin Germo, I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.